So what we've done up until now is created a expanding black circle. And that was what we tried to do, or what we set out to do right at the beginning. Let's start making some different stimuli. Let's do a grating stimulus. We'll generate a window and then we'll generate a grating stimulus. So what is a grating stimulus? Let's have a quick look. Grating stimuli are essentially lines across the visual field, alternating light and dark lines. And the spacing between the lines can either be quite wide, so you have a, think of it very simply as a very wide white bit and a very wide dark bit, or a narrow wide bit and a narrow dark bit. And that's what we call the spatial frequency, the SF. So this has a low spatial frequency, which means that the, the uh, colors don't change very often across the visual field, the visual angle. Whereas if we have a very high or very rapid changing stimulus from light to dark, then we have a high spatial frequency. The orientation of the bars, they can either be what we would call up and down, 90 degrees, or they could be horizontal, 0, 180 degrees. Or as we can see here, we can have any arrangement that we want at all. And so we can set that. So let's have a look to PsychoPy mod, uh, documentation and it's called the grating stim. It's under the visual uh, package, uh, under the visual uh, import that we make. And so here's the, the um, parameters. So let's pop that into our demo. We'll get the command prompt up. Great. Uh, so we need to get, so the grating stimulus is in the visual. Also the window, remember, is in visual. We also want, to, we'll also bring this in just in case we want to do some timing. And we'll also bring in another module or another set of uh, uh, functionality, sorry, functions that allows us to uh, check for keyboard presses. So we first, we create the window. Again, so this is the canvas upon which we present our stimuli. Window equals visual dot window. Let's make it 800 by 600 again. Let's put it on screen zero. Uh, monitor again. We've got that uh, calibration file in the background for test monitor. Uh, full screen is false. What else do we want? The color. Well, this is not going to be all that important for us, but let's set the color anyway. We'll set it to a mid gray. And the units, we will again, we'll put pixels in. It doesn't matter. We're just trying to throw something up onto the screen. So this should all be hopefully fine here. Let's just have a look at what I've done before. Tab window color, unit picky. Okay, this should be fine. So let's draw this. Uh, so, to see if we get it to work. So that window is in memory. We then flip it onto the screen and then we do core dot wait and we'll wait for three seconds. Okay, and then win zero dot close. Because we're being nice and polite, we're going to tidy up. So let's give this a shot. Hit scrap demo. Hopefully nothing is wrong here there's the window should last for about three seconds when you see that you can great now let's make the grating stimulus so we'll call it uh, grat stim and then we'll I've cut and pasted from before so here we'll take visual dot grating stim uh, control C we'll go back into our uh, here and we'll control V and then we'll go home, just hit the home button and then window equals uh, be win zero. Texture, we'll go through what the texture means. We'll go through what the mask means. We won't use the mask now. Mask means that we could turn it from a full screen into a gable, which is, or a vignette, which is like a circle mask around it. Uh, 
pixels position so the position if we had a small gable or a small uh, vignetted uh, grating stimulus we could put it anywhere on the screen we're just going to put it dead in the center uh, size we're going to have the size v so it will make a square so we'll make it a full size it'll be 800 by 800 spatial frequency now this is going to be using the units that we've got so the spatial frequency will have Two cycles, 0 0.02 cycles per pixel. Uh, orientation, uh, we'll just have it at zero degrees. The phase, we'll set the phase to be zero, zero. Texture resolution, we don't need. And I don't think we need anything else. Interpolate, no, blend mode, no, main, no, auto lock. We don't need any of that at the end. So we now have to draw the grat stim to the window and then window from the memory onto the screen and then we'll play it for three seconds let's see what we get hopefully we haven't made any mistakes now i can see one mistake we have set the incorrect window it's lowercase so it is case sensitive so i've saved that let's have a look again fingers crossed <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so you can see here we've got a vertical grating stimulus. And we've set the spatial frequency, we've set the orientation. This is in degrees, so let's set this to 90. What do we get? Hopefully the bars should be facing a different way. Yep, now they're horizontal. Okay, you can see that. Let's set this spatial frequency, so let's make a lower spatial frequency. So the bars should be closer together or further apart. That's right, they should be further apart because we've got a lower spatial frequency. We can set this spatial frequency higher. Let's have a look. So they should be a lot closer together now. Yeah, wow, this is quite a quite a profound change. We'll set that back to 0.02. We'll set the orientation back to zero. We'll get that to work again. Good, so that's fine. Now, what, we'll, what we're going to do now is we're not going to wait for three seconds. Okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna set a while loop. So while one, remember one is what we use for true, uh, we'll, we then have to indent this. What we are going to do is gradstim.draw, win0.flip. Now what we are going to use is this event uh, function. Okay, And what we're going to do is, is we're going to get what's called the length.keys. Now this is, in, um, this is one of the methods that they have in the uh, demo files, the demonstration uh, grating stimuli files on the scipy. So if you want a bit more explanation, then uh, just run onto that and you should get it out of there. So if the length of event dot get keys okay, is greater than zero, so normally this event dot get, get keys is it's going to have nothing in it. And what we're saying is, okay, I want you to keep checking how the length of this dot get keys function. And if it's greater than zero, we want to break. We need to put a colon at the end there. We will then break. Okay. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to clear the buffer. So here, event keys, clear events. Good. So let's have a look. So it's going to check this to see if at any point during the execution of this upper part of the while loop, I have hit a button, any button on the screen, it then goes into this function, into here. We then check the length. If if I have pushed a button, the length is going to be greater than one. If it is, we then break, right? And then we go down to win zero dot close and we tidy up what's going on. If this is zero, what we do is we just continue going through and we clear the events and we clear the buffer. So it, is, it will start at zero again, right at the top 
of this while loop. So let's see how we go. Grab demo.py. So this should continue playing, fingers crossed, until I hit a key. Right. So I'm just going to push the space bar. There we go. That's done that quite good. Quite well. Sorry, not good. Superman does good. Let's run that again. I want to talk to you now about the stimuli. Have a look here. We've got black, white, black, white, and in the middle we've got shades of grey. Let's drop the spatial frequency down. I just hit spacebar again. Let's drop that spatial frequency down again so we can really have a, a close look at this. Here, we can see it goes white and then slowly goes more grey, more grey, and then black, and then it becomes less grey to white. So it seems to be the, 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 the pixel intensity or the grey to whiteness, black to whiteness, seems to go like this. It's smoothly changing up and down. It's almost like a sinusoid, isn't it? It's a sine wave. So you've got from black, grey, 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 white, grey, 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 black, grey, 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 white. This is a sine, sinusoid. The way that we generate this is we essentially create a sinusoid function and then we assign each point of that sinusoid a pixel intensity and then we just re uh, repeat that down the screen for each XY pixel location. Uh, I think that's the also way, way that they get you to do it in uh, MATLAB Scythe Toolbox. What if we don't want it to be smooth? What if we want it to be black, white, black, white with almost like a square, like there's black, zero, and then white, which so you can't see that. Uh, black, and then white, and then black. Not this smooth changed. Can we change that? Yes, that's this texture here. So if we put in square, like that, we will go black, white, black, white, at the same spatial frequency, okay? Uh, we're not changing any other parameters here, we're just changing the texture. So you see here, this is uh, black, white, black, white. It's very clear, pull. You'll also notice that we're symmetrical here. So the middle of this window here is white, and you see we've got about half a white and half a white bar on the sides here. So we've set the phase uh, here for the stimulus. In the next video, we'll go through what happens if we change the phase per frame. But for now, this is a grating stimulus. We can set the phase. Uh, let's make this, uh, oh, I don't know, let's go 45. Let's go all the way out there. See what we get. So it should be tilted. Ah, you can see now we've got this problem in the corners because what we've done is we've only made it 800 by 800. And so if we tilt it, rah, okay, did we make it 800? Let's have a look, how big did we make it? Uh, yeah, we made it 800, okay. Uh, we start to get the errors on the side because we're not filling that grating stimulus towards these pixels here because we've just simply sort of shifted it on the canvas. How do we get around that? Well, let's close that. Let's just make it bigger. Let's go to say 1000. So we'll overfill that canvas. You have to be careful because if you make it too big, you can start to slow down your program and things can become a problem there. So it was 1000, oh, yeah, there we go. So, so we've got quite a good uh, coverage there. All right, we'll leave it there. Next video, <laughs> we're gonna start to really play around with this grading stimulus.